Alright, this second tutorial picks up where we left off before. After you have done your regressions, and of course I can go back in and find the one that I did. And let's just open that graph just to remind ourselves. And I will have done this same procedure with all three of my graphs. I'm going to evaluate which one I want to further model. And in that case, what I'm going to do is look at two things. I'm going to look at how well my um, parabola fits my picture. And also I'm going to look at this value. Whichever one you feel fits the best and, and an R-squared value closest to 1, and this is pretty darn close to 1, and this fits pretty well, um, is the one that you want to choose. If there's two that are pretty good, just choose which one you want. Just make sure that in your report you tell why you chose that one. Once you're done with this, um, you're going to want to go to your instructions uh, and number four tells uh, what you're going to do for vertex form and intercept form. So I want to get rid of all this and basically just kind of start over with my picture. So I can kind of just go through here and just get rid of all of this stuff. And I'm just going to save this as a new picture so I don't lose my old one. So I'll go over here and click on it. I'm going to title this one Vertex Form. Alright, so this one says that I have to position the vertex on a non-zero integer coordinate. Right now, one of my integers is zero, so this will not work. So I'm going to need to move this again. Um, and in fact, it may be better just to re-import my picture. So let's just get rid of this guy and let's re-import him so we can start over again. So I'm going to scroll back through and pick up my picture. Um, I'm going to make him bigger again. And this time I'm going to center him so that it is on a non-zero. So right there, my vertex is on a non-zero point. It's going to be at 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. So 3, comma, 4. And of course you can always go in and change the colors here by just uh, clicking on it. Now you can click on it. I can pick a orange, whatever. And you may want to do this especially if your background is dark or you can't see some of the colors. So I'm done editing that. Now I want to pick the vertex and I want to pick one other point. Um, and again I want that other point to try to be a as close to two integers as possible. So let me pick this point right here which is one, um, one, two, three. All right, now I'm going to have to do some calculations before I can do anything else. So I'm going to take my vertex, which is my HK, and I'm going to plug it in to my vertex form. I'm going to take this point, plug it in for X and Y, and solve for A. Once I do that, instead of a calculator giving me an equation, I'm going to write what my uh, modeled parabola equation should be in vertex form. So I'm going to do the calculations. So once I did my calculations on my sheet of paper, I found out that my a, when I solved for a, it was going to be negative one-fourth. And of course my vertex was three-four, so it's going to be negative one-fourth x minus three quantity squared plus four. When I entered that in, it made my parabola and it models it you know, pretty well. I'm also going to take this, foil it out, multiply by the negative one-fourth, and I wrote it in standard form. And it should, when I uh, allow the color to come up, model right over it. These should be the exact same one. So let me just double check. Ah, it does, so that's good. And now I will also want to come in and save this. Once I have that, I want to use the quadratic formula from here, plug in my values of A, B, and C, and solve for what I believe is going to be this x-intercept and this x-intercept. Once I've solved each one of those, 
I'm going to plug in those points and see how close it is to what actually my x-intercepts are. And right away I know if I'm going to be using this, it looks like it'll probably predict this one pretty well, but you can see on the other side, most likely my quadratic formula is going to give me this number right here, which is negative 1, where it's really in my actual picture kind of closer to a half. So I'm going to be off a little bit in my predictions. So it is, it models perfectly with my parabola, but not so much with my picture right here. This side looks pretty good, but this side is off just a little bit. But that's okay. Um, you can talk about that in your report. And now I'm going to go and save that. And I'm going to want to print off this whole thing. When I go to print, Make sure all the calculations that you did in order to find this equation, right? Just putting in your x, um, sorry, your h and k in and your x and y in to solve for a to get this equation. That should all be right here. Then multiplying this out to go from uh, vertex form to standard form. You should write out all your calculations nice and neatly right here after you've printed it off. And then finally, how you solved these equations to find what your x-intercepts are going to be should also be on this sheet of paper. And both of these should be printed off and included in with your report. All right. After you're done doing that to the picture, you can go ahead and get rid of everything. And again, you're probably going to want to start over again because now instead of doing the vertex form we're going to want to do intercept form so you're going to want to move this around and let's see if it'll allow me to move it so that now my x intercepts are as close as possible onto integers may mean that you have to kind of move it up or down let's see this one might be a little tougher And I think this is about as close as I'm going to get it, right there. Okay, so I'm going to pick out this intercept, which is negative 1, 2, 3, 0. And I'm going to put that in, negative 3, 0. And I'm going to put in my other one, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. Make sure that they're on there, nice and good. And I want to pick one more point that's as close to an integer as I can get it. Hmm. Um, doesn't look like I have any that are really good points. Maybe this one down here. But instead, I'm just going to go and try to estimate in, in between. Let's see. Let's have this at negative 1, 1, 2, Point eight. Let's try that one. That looks pretty good. All right, now I'm going to write these in intercept form on my sheet of paper, plugging this in for my xy value, and I'm going to solve for my equation in intercept form. Okay, so once I plugged it in both of my intercepts in intercept form and my other point to find out what a is. I wrote my equation in intercept form, plugged it in. Looks like it's doing a pretty good job modeling in the parabola. I foiled and multiplied out to get it into standard form and let's see it should be the same one and it does. goes right over it nicely. And then finally I'm going to use these this equation right here to predict what the vertex should be. Well, it's already doing it for me, but I'm going to um, double check when I do my calculations. And sure enough, it comes out to 0.5 and 3.43. I'm going to make sure that that point is also here, my predicted vertex. And I'm going to save him. And now I used my intercepts. This is intercept form. So I want to rename him intercept form. And we'll want to print him off. 
And yet again, once you print this off, all of the work that you did to convert this into your intercept form, foiling it out to standard form, and then using this negative um, B over 2A and plugging it back in to find out what your vertex is, all goes on this sheet of paper. Both of these will be printed off and turned in with your work. And that should be all you need for your Desmos tutorial. Good luck, guys.